that's actively looking to learn accounting, leadership. I'm more of like a hands-on learner and with my A-level classes they weren't really like that, they were more the teacher tells me something, I make notes on it, I have to learn the notes rather than me actually learn by doing it. So I thought an apprenticeship is the best way to do that because I'm getting qualifications and I'm also learning in a job role. In the pre-apprenticeship programme we had different days where we'd learn different skills, so CV workshops and interview workshops and interviews specifically helped me because I always found it nerve-wracking talking to people who I didn't know. It kind of helped me realise that I'm just talking to a human being either way. It's been a little bit of a harder journey uh, for Will than it is for some of those more extroverted apprentices. We checked with his mentor at LTSB, Catherine Gurner. Um, she was very, very sure of him. She'd done a lot of work with him and she pressed us very hard, I have to say very hard, uh, to take him on and to give him a chance. And she was right. He came through and he's Apprentice of the Year for, for all the right reasons. It was a bit crazy walking in there on my first day because I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. I've never had a like, full working job before I got introduced to my team and I enjoyed meeting my team because they just treated me like a mate and that's how I felt most comfortable. He's managed really well, he's, he's come out of his shell, um, he's really much more self-assured but I think what I uh, like the most is the maturity that he's got and the self-confidence that he's gained since he's been with us. I feel like I've come a long way since I started that apprenticeship so I'm happy with how much I've changed and how much I've improved as a person and I don't really think I would be in the same position if I hadn't done this scheme.